All right, so let's uh, just go and make a uh, system is simple. Uh, my name is Vanessa Fellows Jimo, and taking you around on the space of just navigating the exchange platform. Okay. So let me simple. Uh, my name is and taking you around on the space of just navigating the exchange platform. Okay. So let me simple. All right, so let's go this way. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask. Want to ask the questions? What you want to put your banners? Banners. So, uh, the exchange platform, pay through, uh, pay through, so the exchange platform, then, and, uh, I'll show you why. And uh, so many other exchange you can make use of, but I'm going to dwell on about two, three of them. So this is Binance. Um, this is uh, uh, let's say Coinsbit. Okay. Coinsbit. Uh, Coinsbit. Okay. I want you to watch this thing before what I had to know that crypto is not just a bubble for play. Nations in Turkey. The financial nightmare in Turkey is the gift that keeps on giving. Their entire system is in the process of imploding and present. President Erdogan seems to be in a persistent state of panic these days. And Tika Tawari is back in the house. He's a very good friend of mine. And in my opinion, the world expert when it comes to cryptocurrency and investments. But something you didn't know is that after the episode that we taped on London Real, we recorded a separate video afterwards about a special cryptocurrency investment situation. And this video won't be available on YouTube, social media channels, or even our website. It's called Five Coins to Five Million Dollars, The Final Five Coins. And I've secured for you, as a London Real viewer, free access to this groundbreaking cryptocurrency event. Just click on the link below or go to londonreal.tv forward slash five to lock in your spot as there are limited spaces available. With crypto, there's an opportunity here to make hundreds of millions of dollars. Right now, over 100 billionaires and wealthy investors are in a buying frenzy, preparing for a rare crypto market phenomenon 100% guaranteed to happen. The last time it occurred in 2016, you could have turned $500 into as much as $5 million in as little as 10 months' time. And we won't see this happen again until 2024. This phenomenon will ignite a bull market in crypto that will be of a scale that we haven't seen since 2017. Tika Tuwari was voted the number one trusted expert in cryptocurrency by an independent poll of 130,000 analysts. And he's going to show you the final five coins to invest in 
that again could turn $500 into as much as $5 million. As Tika told me, the time to take action is now. This technology is like the iPhone in 2007. Imagine the return on that investment. Disruptive technologies like this only come around a few times a century, and the window to take advantage of them is very small. Many of you will remember that six months ago, Tika predicted the first five coins that would go to $5 million. Some people thought he was crazy, but I know Tika. So London Real bought those coins and did incredibly well. In fact, one of those coins was Chainlink, which became the number one performing cryptocurrency of 2019. This guy is amazing. This is the only time I know of where you even have a glimmer of a hope of turning $500 into $5 million. But that's not the first time Tika picked the top performing cryptocurrency. He also picked Ethereum in 2016, Ripple in 2017, and Binance in 2018. All the number one cryptocurrencies each year. I honestly think Tika has some type of crystal ball and he can see the future. And he's about to tell us yet again what coins to buy. The only question is whether you are going to listen. It's the opportunity to change your life without putting your current lifestyle at risk. So click on the link below or go to londonreal.tv forward slash five to attend this exclusive event where Tika will be revealing his final five coins. This is it the final wave. There will be no more coins after this, but we only have limited spaces available. So act now to secure your spot and I will see you at the event. And now I give you Tika Tawari. All right, guys, so let's go straight to uh, trading, exchange navigation. And, uh, if you want to get to know about the Tika Tawari coin, then you can chat with me. And then let's let's roll together and uh, you know taking advantage of this opportunity and uh, can be so lousy and can be crazy. Uh, many people don't know uh, what advantage you have in this space of um, cryptocurrency. So if you want to get that? You can chat with me here on uh, my number. Just pass up me. My number plus two three four eight zero. Um, three six nine two four five double eight. That's my number. Plus two three four eight zero four six nine two four five double eight. So you can chat with me. You can chat with me and uh, get to know uh, those coins. But uh, you know what does it take to take those coins? So let's go straight. Navigate and exchange. So I start from Binance. So let, let me log out, Binance, log in so you can. So this is Binance Exchange. So if you do not have an account of Binance, then go here, pick this link, okay? Pick this first link, and then or you can go on Binance and use this code, 1115. 60090 as their uh, code for a referral code. Okay, now let's go navigation. So I'm going to log in. So this is Binance, login. If you're using your phone, then you can use the app. So the same way, and just click on account. When you open the app, you see this interface. You may think the interface was already open for you. No, you have to click on account and it asks you to log in. Okay. So, and I, I, I advise everybody to try as much as possible to Protect their account with a uh, 2FA, you know, Google Authenticator. So, uh, at least to reduce the level of exposure of your account to an unauthorized um, user and there's a lot of hacking. I've not started, but to start more crazy, 
going forward because of the cryptocurrencies. Okay. There we go, logging now. Right, so this is Binance Exchange. Please, if you are in my community, um, deal with me permanently. I take God in his infinite mercy and his power to beg you to write down these steps. I wouldn't want a situation people drawing us back over and over. Somebody called me, hey, I don't know how to navigate the exchange, but I've been recording um, exchange platform navigation for a very long time. But what I discovered that many people don't sit down you know, to digest. I'm a live student. What it has to do with cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, I'm a live student. I learn every day. But every last set day, I do research, I study, I learn, I go through so many things to make sure that I know what I am doing at time in the space of cryptocurrency. And of course, there are very fundamental things you must take note, but I need to go straight away now for navigation. Now, first of all, if you open a Binance, then you have to do your authenticator, you know, by logging into your security, okay? To go to security, then do your Google authenticator, okay? Click on security by clicking on your profile, you know, and so please, these are very vital, they're very, very vital. So you can see set up of some security. You can see Google Authenticator, mine is enabled. Uh, yours will be written enabled, mine is written disabled because it has been enabled. Then you click on enable, it shows you. Please, there's a code. Yeah, I might not be able to do this one again. There's a code at the back uh, there's a right this security, so we call it recovery code. Please, about 16 capital letters, number, alphanumeric numbers. Uh, please write it down, it's very, very important. Then you complete the Google Authenticator on your, you know, uh, uh, you know, mobile or, you know, you know, tablet and all of that. So why you write that code down is because if you have problem with your device, then you can just restore your Google and into another device and it will work that you can do here without any trouble. Now, you see here, personal identification. The account is not very high because I have many accounts. So if you go there on your own, if you go to your profile, you're going to see unverified or you see identification. So you click on it. It's going to take you to where you have to now start your verification. You can see, okay. So personal, okay, you have to verify your account. So go to verify, da 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 da, da. So look at it, so if you say verify now, okay? If you say verify, you click on it, okay? It asks you for all the things you need to put in your personal information, okay? All right, your personal information, blah, 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 everything. Then once you've done, you say begin verification. Then that will requires you to put your ID card. You can see basic, you see, it requires you to put your ID card and then verify. Now that is done. And then they ask you to, uh, when you get to a place where they say uh, scan, you take your phone, open the Binance app there, and you scroll down, go to settings, and you see scan. Then you take to scan that place and um, da, 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 da. you capture it, you take that to your phone to snap yourself. Then it asks you to put your head within the box in the screen. It tells you, knock your head, open your mouth, move your head forward, move it sideways, you know, move it slowly, nod your head. Just observe the instructions given. Now, next we go, you click on wallet, right? On your phone, you click on forms. So click on wallet. If you're using, um, uh, your app is on um, um, Apple, you, you, you will see wallets too. Yeah. So now I click on wallet and click on spot wallet. Okay, so it takes you up here. Please follow this step one after the other. Take notes, write note down to understand what you were doing part time. I beg you, please try as much as possible to take notes. You have to take notes, so so important, okay? Um, so take notes. So here we go. Uh, this is an exchange. This is Binance. Okay. 
Now, when you what you see here are coins you currently bought and you kept, okay? Coins you bought and you kept that maybe you place for sales and all of that. So I'm not here to preach to you which coins to buy, which coins to sell, okay? I'm not here to preach to you which coins to buy, which coins to sell, okay? So this is exchange, you know, some coins are here. Uh, there's uh, Ethereum, New, Litecoin, Chainlink, RAN, uh, you know, ICX, ICOM, EOS, uh, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, you know, Bear, Matic, Bart, IOTA, Wazwiz, OneChain, Avi. Okay. Oh, that is here. Serious. Okay. Uh, Zen, Dusk. SNA, oh wow, you here? AR, and then all of that. So these are coins here, all right? So what exactly are you meant to do right now? Then you are meant to click on the deposit. So I haven't clicked on deposits, then Vortex. Now, the next thing after clicking on deposit is to click on the Bitcoin, you want to deposit. You type BTC, there you go. Now, BTC is the coin you want to deposit. It shows you an address. So your phone, the same thing, what you're going to see is deposit, withdraw, transfer. So you click on deposit, it shows copy address. There you go, copy the address, and then uh, you're good. Then go to your blockchain wallet, okay? Uh, you do not have, you do not have a blockchain wallet, please try and open a blockchain wallet, you know, because the blockchain wallet is an excellent wallet or trust wallet, or coinomy, or engine wallet, or whatever type of wallet you may decide to open. So go to your blockchain wallet. I don't think there's any more this game. Okay. Yeah, there we go, uh, blockchain wallet. If you're watching me live and you'll be battling on how to go about, you know, going through the, you know, exchange platform navigating and then buying coin, selling coin, and please, you can just uh, uh, follow this step very simple. Okay, uh, this, there we go. Okay. So uh, you've copied the wallet, of course, then you come here to send Bitcoin. So in your, from your blockchain, so you see send, and then which coin are you sending? Of course, it's Bitcoin, please be careful. And I beg everybody to always read the instruction. Maybe you are sending Bitcoin, and you hear what you have was actually Bitcoin Cash. Please be careful. Or maybe what was here was Ethereum. And then you place the wallet that is not Ethereum, okay? Uh, uh, Bitcoin wallet into Ethereum blockchain. Whatever amount of money you sent via this is going to be a waste because it's not going to be delivered and you don't have it back, okay? So be careful, always read information. So there we go. Here's the wallet here. How much are you sending? Let's say uh, $200. I'm just using an instance. Then there you go. Say you got enough. Then Da, 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 da. and click continue and you click confirm, you know, and so you're done. Then you have to wait, okay? You have to wait till when the confirmation is done. Then for some of us who may be in the UK, in Nigeria, in South Africa, where your currency is already are, then you click on fiat, but your account must have been verified. Look at this, my account is verified. Your account must have been verified so that you can pay with Naira. Okay, so that, so you can see, so I want to pay with Naira, so I have to verify my account, okay. Oh, pounds. Oh, euro. Oh, it's crazy. All right. Um,
Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying. So we are in the soap. Oh. Oh. Let's ask me for that. Okay, EP wallet. So you can do any fiat transactions if the account is not verified. It's an anti-money laundry uh, policy. And so that is it on this. Now, I will deposit your money. Now you're gonna see the money in your balance. So you're good to go and start your, your trade. Now, where next am I gonna go? The next place to visit it is to go to trade on your on your phone to show trade market. So you can go to market or trade on your phone. Your system, you see trade, and then you see basic, you see advanced, please click on advanced. Okay. Now I want click on advance, what happened? It takes you up here to show you, um, now you have to know which coin are you actually coming for? You know, these are fundamental stocks, so you need to know which coin are you coming to trade? So you don't just come online, say you want to trade, and uh, you, without having in mind which coin exactly am I coming to trade? Okay, so let's use an instance I'm coming in here and I want to train a coin called Chainlink. Uh, Chainlink, uh, will I type Chainlink? No, I'm not going to type Chainlink. Chainlink has a code called Link. So you have to know the code of the coin you want to trade. You know, Steam, yeah, Steam is Steam. Chainlink is Link, all right? And uh, I have a coin called Cosmos. And the code is Atom. You know, you have to know all of those things. Of course, they are simple things. So, and uh, there we go. I want to trade Chainlink. But immediately I come to this interface. This is the trading interface. What you do, you have to look up here on the pairing. Look at the pairing, BTC, USDT. Now, here we go. We have two markets here vis-a-vis. -vis. Which market and which market? The asset market, which is the Bitcoin pairing with all the coins you want to trade and the fiat which is all the coins of Bitcoin itself, other coins that are listed to be paired with fiat money, that is with dollar, with Naira, with some, you know, all of those, that's where you can see BTC, USDT, BTC, NGN, that's Naira, okay, Ethereum, USDT, Ethereum, Naira, you know, you know BSD, Naira, and all of that, so this is fiat market. So any money you are sending here or you are trading around here, because I've been there, you credit your account with fiat money, which we call stable coin. There we go, but here, where do I go? You go here, you go here, okay? You go to uh, BTC. So there I am, yeah, I'm on BTC, and then which coin do I say we should trade or buy is called Chainlink. Okay. So am I typing chain link? No, you type here to set the name. But sometimes it may not be here on the list, but this time around is here, but let's say it's not here on the list. You now type L-I-N-K, link slash BTC. Good, but because you funded your account with BTC, now you want to buy chain link. So buy chain link, oh, fantastic. All this trade you are doing is on exchange trade, not margin trade. Always be sure of what you are doing. Margin trade is different from exchange trade. So there we go. How much is chain link right now? $2.26. But what is the Satoshi value? 33,866 Satoshi, right? Ladies, uh, if you don't understand Satoshi, go back to my YouTube channel and see some of my training on Satoshi. Satoshi is the smallest fractions unit of Bitcoin. And Satoshi is decimals in eight decimal points. And how do I mean? Zero point. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's about eight decimal points, that's decimal places. 
And so if you want to understand Satoshi, you should know that Bitcoin have 100 million Satoshi. 100 million Satoshi. How do I mean? This is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 100, then the remaining six zero million. So that's 100 million Satoshi. Then anything less than 100 million Satoshi turns to, turns to, um, turns to 90 million or 90 million Satoshi. Okay, am I correct? 100 million, 90 million. How? There we go, we have 0 0.90, 0. then the remaining zero, that's 90 million Satoshi. So after 100 million as a whole Bitcoin, what you can have is 90 million. So these are subfractions of the Satoshi. So we have one Satoshi, meaning you're gonna have 0 0.000, seven zeros and one up here. Look at this, something like this. Okay. Zero point zero 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 zero. I mean zero four five six seven one. This is one Satoshi. We call it unit of Satoshi and we call it one digit of Satoshi. So one to nine is a unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to nine is a unit of Satoshi and one digit. It's easy to make crazy money with coins that have this type of Satoshi, one unit or one digit. Then the next we have is two digit or two units or tens of Satoshi. In the way it's a unit, you go to tens. You know, we're going back to kindergarten. So you now have one, one, a one zero, which is 10 up to 99. That is tens of Satoshi. That is two digit of Satoshi, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, to 99. So it's two digit and tens of Satoshi. Two digit and tens of Satoshi. There you have 0 0.6 zeros before the numbers. And these two make faster profit. How, why? If you are on one Satoshi, for instance, once is two Satoshi is 100%, three Satoshi is 200%, four Satoshi is 300 so when you get to nine Satoshi, is 800%. And it's easy for you to move from one Satoshi to 10 Satoshi, as the case may be, okay? So just get to understand. So nine, nine, so it is easy for you to do 186 or 188 or whatever Satoshi or 200 Satoshi or 198 Satoshi, you know, and that you do 100%. Then this chain link now to do 100% because it's already very expensive, okay? So 99, so then we have hundreds of Satoshi start from 100, which is three digit Satoshi. Please take note, what you're gonna have in between the decimal point and the number is five zeros. So the remaining 100, 101, 102 to 999 is gonna occupy three places which remaining five zeros in between the decimal point and the number. So which you have 100, 101 to 999, that is three digit Satoshi and we call it hundreds of Satoshi, okay? It's easy to still make good profit here. Now, when you go to thousands of Satoshi, it's gonna be divided into two, four zeros in between and four places occupied. So 1,000, you can now see, 0 0.000040 zeros and 1,000. That is 1,000. So we call it thousands of Satoshi. When you get to 1,000, it's subdivided into two now, where you have thousands of Satoshi start from 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 to 9,999. 9,999, okay? 9,999, we call it thousands of Satoshi occupying four places and having four zeros. Now, when we move from here, you are now going to have five places occupied, talking about tens of thousands of Satoshi, starting from 10,000 occupying five places. And there you go, you have 
three zeros in between the decimal point and the digit. So we have tens of thousands of Satoshi. Here we go. This is 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, 15,000, 13,000. In that order, going to 20,000, 30,000, like um, chain link now is in the realm of tens of thousands of Satoshi because this is 33,000. So this goes da, 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 to 90,999 Satoshi. 90,900 and, oh, sorry, 99,999 Satoshi. 99,999 Satoshi. All of this from 10,000 to 90,999 Satoshi are tens of thousands of Satoshi where this chain link coin actually fall into right now, okay? Now, when you leave this place, you go to hundreds of thousands of Satoshi, which is gonna be six places occupied and two zeros left behind, 0, 0.00, which go to hundreds of thousands of Satoshi. Okay, you're gonna have 0, 0.00, 100 and another three zero, which is hundred thousands. So hundreds of thousands of Satoshi occupy six places. So hundreds of thousands of Satoshi to, to um, 900,999, 900,999,000. Casey, here, what do you do? This is one, two, three, one, two, three. So we have 999,999 ,99 Satoshi. 999,999 ,99 Satoshi. It starts from 100,000, 150, 200,000, 300,000, 400, 600, 700, 800, 900, 999,999 ,99 Satoshi. You can see now it's already a big money. Why are we showing this? Sometimes some Satoshi that have zeros behind, the exchange may not show the zero behind, but what you need to take into cognizance is how many zeros in between. If it's seven zeros, that's one digit. That is one digit, unit of Satoshi. If it's six zeros, that is two digits. So sometimes you may see something like this. There we go. Zero, zero, zero. How many zeros here? One, uh, uh, sorry, zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, you will think it's one Satoshi. No, there is one zeros at the back, but the system didn't put it because they were operating not up to eight decimal places, operating on five decimals or six decimals. Okay, so you have to be careful. So the best for you is to know, oh, if it's one digit, uh, we will have seven zeros in between the decimal point and the number. Then this is six zeros. Then it's not one digit. This is tens of Satoshi, which means this is this is two digits. So I should have zeros behind, but it was not there. It does not mean it's not. If not, you will be buying a coin and thinking that you're buying a coin for now at one Satoshi, never knew it you are buying it at 10 Satoshi. That means if I put one Satoshi, look at it, one Satoshi is about 67 uh, a penny, you know, very low fraction down, that's it's six, seven, then 10, one, 600 and something, so it's crazy, right? And so now the same thing it goes, you can see now five zeros and you see one and zero. You say, hey, this is 10 Satoshi, never, is 100 Satoshi, but you didn't check how many zeros in between. Is this five zeros? Yes, that means there are three places still left behind. So one or two or three, you see an additional two digits of numbers, which invariably, invariably be zero. So be careful. And that's why I take my time to explain the Satoshi for us. So when you leave this place, you know, 999,999 uh, from hundreds of thousands to 999,999 take six places and remaining two zero. The next you go is you go to millions of Satoshi. 
millions of Satoshi. One, zero, 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 okay? That means 0 0.010, so remaining six zeros, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, one. So this is one million Satoshi, one million Satoshi. So one million, so we talk about millions of Satoshi. So millions of Satoshi, 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 5 million, 6 million, 7 to 9 million, and 999, or 9,999,999. Look at it, 9,999,999 million, 999 Satoshi, can you see? It's gonna be about seven nines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine million. 999,999. So from 1 million to 9 million, 999,999. So that is another level of Satoshi to be 0 0.0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in that order. Okay. Now, when you go after that, you're going to go to the last point, which is going to be um, tens of millions. From 10 million. Let's see, 0 0.1000000 up to down. So this is 10 million, 10 million, 20 million, 10 million, 11 million, 12 million, 13 million, 20 million, 30 million, 40 million, 50 million, 60, 70 to 90 million, 999,999. Let's see, right? This is. Nine 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 nine. Oh, so ninety million, ninety million, nine hundred ah, ninety nine million. Sorry, ninety nine million, nine hundred and ninety nine thousand, nine hundred and ninety nine. Then, then finally, you now have one whole Bitcoin. One point zero 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 zero. zero. So that goes there. So this is one Bitcoin. This is one Bitcoin, okay? This is one Bitcoin. So you can now see one Bitcoin is how much? One Bitcoin is $6,693 right now. And that's what you are seeing here. So I think this should be more very simple and explainable, uh, explainable for anyone who is following and taking note. And so this is one Bitcoin. So one Bitcoin is 100 million satoshi there we go now you've done you've learned this so we are buying a chain link at how many satoshi 0 0.000333 uh, let's just say 700 that is 33,700 satoshi how many chain link are you buying then you now look you can either use these automatic settings by saying 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. Now, what do you mean by this? Now, if you say 25%, you're saying the whole money I have here, use 25% out of the money. Assuming I have one Bitcoin, just use 25%, that's 0.25 Bitcoin to buy the chain. If I have one Bitcoin, just use 50%, which is 0.5 Bitcoin of my one Bitcoin. That's what you're making use of it. But at a point, you may not want to make use of this, so you want to type in manually, look at this amount. If you're using your phone, you're going to see the amount too. you see price, you see amount. And then, sometime on your phone, you may not see price, you just see the first option, showing the price at which the coin is. So you are meant to erase it this way and type your own desired price. You must not use market price, especially when the coin has not actually consolidated. Is this fluctuating, having a very long volatile, then you, volatility? Then you can go ahead and set your own desired price. All right, so there we go. I've set my own desired price, for instance, here. And then there we go. How many chain link do I actually want to buy? So I say, okay, I want to buy 100 chain link. So it goes to show you 100 chain link is this amount, 0 0.03, maybe around 225 or $235. I don't know what it may be. Uh, let's check.
I have two hundred and twenty-five dollars. That's good. So you say you're buying chain link. Hundred of it. So that's about two hundred and twenty-five, two hundred and twenty-six dollars. There you go. You click to say buy. Now immediately you place your price. Chain link refused to come down. Chain link now start going up. Thirty-three thousand eight hundred and fifty-eight. Initially was thirty-three thousand seven hundred and fifty something. And it's going, don't bother, just click buy. Okay, mine is not gonna buy, show me I do not have enough balance. Now, if I have enough balance, it's gonna show something, it's gonna show you here and say, uh, if you're using for it's gonna say success. If you're using a system, it's gonna say order successfully place for this and give you those analysis. Now, does it mean that the chain link has been bought? Immediately you see that. No, it has not been bought. What happened? your order has been taken successfully. Now, how will I know where my money is and where my order is? If you're using your system, look at it here, come behind here and see open orders. Can you see open orders? When you, if you're in your phone, you will see open orders. Click on your open orders on your phone. When you click on open orders on your phone and it shows you, um, it shows you what coins you place order to buy or sell that have not been executed. Now, if you don't find anything there on your phone, go to trade history. Okay, go to trade history. You will see trade history on your phone. When you click on it, every order that you have bought and sold or canceled, every transaction that have been executed, you bought, you sold, or you canceled, you see them there. Now, on your system, it has two categories. It shows order history, and trade history. Now, what's the difference between this guy and this guy? Now, order history shows every orders you placed, every orders you placed, either you bought or sold or you canceled. I bought it, orders, bought orders, sold orders are here on this order history. Now, trade history only show two things, others bought successfully and others sold successfully. Others bought successfully and others sold successfully. So be careful. So you will see those orders. So you can check all of those things. Now, having bought your chain link, for instance, and let's assume that the chain link you bought was this. Now, you now have, now this now depends on which community do you belong to. For those of you in Bill With Me, we know that our strategy is every coin you buy, it depends on is it a primary coin or a secondary coin. If it's a primary coin, of course, with chain link, it's a primary coin, for instance. Then you are meant to divide the coin into two. What I'm worth two. First, you hold part of it. So I can take, go to my wallet and withdraw part of this chain link. Go back here, let's go here. I can go to this place, uh, go to my trust wallet. Okay, I can go to my trust wallet uh, because anything I'm holding must not be staying on exchange platform. You should take it off the exchange platform. Every coins you are holding should be taken off exchange platform. So every coin I need to hold, so assuming you are holding chain link, then you have to come to your wallet and then go to your trust wallet, okay? Or wherever, whichever exchange platform, uh, external wallet you are using, go there and then go and say withdraw, okay? So this is withdraw. And which coin are you actually withdrawing? So you have to now type the name, link. So you select it. Now, link is actually, um, Ethereum enabled, so look at it. It wants you to save uh, the wallet here. It wants you to place the wallet here. Uh, let me you let me let me send the link.
Okay, so I want to bring link wallet from my Exna wallet. So this is Chainlink. There we go. So it's actually Ethereum uh, wallet enabled. And so it's an Ethereum wallet project. It's Chainlink is on Ethereum uh, wallet. Okay, so click it. Why am I withdrawing it? Because it is an external, uh, it says, uh, what's it called? Call it for me. Okay. It is a coin for holding. Okay. I'm not saying you should hold it, but for all the people, every subscriber in, um, every subscriber in um, Be With Me know that we trade, we have a trading pattern. So, if you're watching me live, it is now your choice to create your own trading pattern, okay? Um, there we go. To create your own trading pattern, so we are not causing you to do what we do. So I paste the wallet. So how many am I withdrawing? Let me just say like 20, you know, I'm withdrawing 20, and it's gonna charge me this, so I can just put the fraction of the charges so that I can have 20. Okay, you can see now, so it said submit. So it's that this is this is a reason why we tell people to have security in their exchange platform, so that if you have someone who is you know fiddling into your uh, stuff and want to take away your money, additional security measure can tame him down, not to you know succeed in uh, exploring uh, your money, you know, uh, your platform to the extent of taking off your money. Now, it asked me this, that is not all. Say so I'm withdrawing, I have to go to my, uh, da, 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 where is it? I have to go to my email to check the mail sent to me, telling me that, Felix, you are actually making a withdrawal of these, with this IP. So if I'm not the one, or I was not the one that initiated this transaction, what am I supposed to do? So I just go by saying, no, cancel. But right now I say, confirm. Okay, somebody is learning. And somebody say, what about the wallet? Where do you pick it from? I pick it from my trust wallet, okay? I pick it from my trust wallet. Somebody says, can I have a trust wallet? It's free. Just go to your phone or your, you know, go to your phone, whatever. You know, look at where I pick it from. So I clicked on receive. Gave me the wallet and ordinarily what you will have. So this is trust wallet. So it's a mobile wallet. You can see it. Trust. So I have different wallets, okay? So you can go to your Play Store. Okay? Go to your Play Store. Thank your pardon. Go to your Play Store. Okay? And then tap on your Play Store. So type trust wallet, not trustee. Your, if your phone is a lower version, it's going to show trustee. We're not talking of trustee wallet. So look at it. That's the second option that carries the logo of trust wallet. So if I tap it down, it's going to show mine to open, but yours is going to show download or installed. Okay. So this is trust wallet. So that's good. So I've done that. You know, I go back to my trade. So go to advance. Okay. You know, assuming you just bought the chain link. So I go back to my trade, go to advance and click here. Uh, BTC slash USDT. 
So I still go select my chain link to so link. See, I'm going to have in the remaining five point something of the link, 5.7. So now you've bought. Now you've taken part into your holding. Now because the primary coin. The next you do is you now swing. Oh, at what price do I want to sell the chain link? I bought it now. Then I want to sell it at, let's say, uh, 60,000 Satoshi. 60,000 Satoshi. How many of the, okay, 50% of my coin to 60,000 Satoshi. I place it. Now, the next, um, I want it to be sold at 55,000 Satoshi. Or, oh, sorry, 65,000 Satoshi. And I say 100%. So I say sell. Okay, there we go. I place my price, which is called swing. I go away. Swing is buy low, sell high. And how do I buy low and sell high? I buy it, I place the price ahead of time. Though you must, of course, those of us in view with me, of course, we, we give analysis of coins and all of that. I buy low, I sell high, I go away. Anytime I come back, if my market must have been sold, if you look at this chart now, you can invariably tell yourself that, oh, chain link is actually a good buy time. But for me, I can only let the buy chain link right now. Why would I let the buy? Because I'm still expecting chain link to come down. When I was telling somebody when chain link was at 50,000, 45,000 Satoshi, I told them, I'm not ready to buy chain link now. I will wait for it until it's at 30,000, 29,000 even 27,000. Yeah, well, will it come there? I don't know. But it has succeed, succeeded in coming to 32,000 plus. Then what stopped it? So I'm waiting for it down, 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 down. So, but what smart thing can I do now as a good trader? I can buy a small portion. Out of the 100% I want to buy, I can buy like 30 or 40% now. So in case it refused to come down to my own price, to my 30,000, 30, 29,000, I buy little now then the price may break up in the game now because if Bitcoin you know, suddenly return back, chain link to will follow suit, it may get back to about 50,000 or 55,000. And then when there's a drop, it's continuing coming back. So the volume I bought here, I sold. I will sell it here and then come back again. So it's simple. I'm not here for you know, analysis of market today. So just the navigation. And so you have placed price for sale. Fantastic. Bravo. Now, once you are finished selling, maybe you come back the next one week, two weeks, three weeks, one month, two months, three months, four months, anytime it's sold, and you have made profit in the asset value. The trade is not complete. If the BTC is about coming down, you complete your trade by doing this. Remember, you have sold the bit, the link to BTC. This time, BTC now move up very far, then you now complete your trade by this, and come here, click, um, link slash BTC or anything you see there in BTC slash USDT. So click on fiat. As you click on fiat, then you look for BTC uh, USDT, okay? There you now come here. That volume of BTC you've gotten, now maybe BTC have gotten to 12,000 that time. You say, okay, that volume of BTC I have, I'm selling it, place your price at 12,000. How many BTC do you got from your trade? Maybe 0 0.023. So you now say sell. That will be $276, okay? $276, you now say sell. What have you done? You've pushed this, your money, into a stable coin. No matter what is happening to the market, it will not affect you in any way. Now, but when will I do this? When market, when Bitcoin spike, like Bitcoin now is trending to go back. We don't know where it's going now. It may get to 7,000 or 10,000 or 11,000. Then you can now sell. Now, when it's returning back, just imagine people, somebody who, when BTC was $10,500, let's say you sold this, your coin, $10,500. And you sold this type of coin at their price, that will be $241, okay? 
Now, BTC came down to as low as $3,700. You may not wait to this point. Don't, not, don't pretend it. Let's say you waited till when it was $5,000 before you buy back. So remember, you have $241. Now, Bitcoin came down to $5,000. You may not buy at $3,000 because you'll be afraid. I know a lot of you will be scared. Now, you are now buying with how many amount of money? $241. $241 buying Bitcoin at that price is going to give you 0.048 BTC, not 0.028. That's almost times two, that's two, two, uh, two X of your, you know, your market. Okay. So once that is done, you bought it. Now you can keep that BTC. BTC is going up. It's okay. No problem. Can BTC still get to ten thousand dollars the same price I saw that time? Yeah, you go up there, you say, "Ooh, BTC, you are here." But you have to be patient doing this. So okay, no problem. After you have bought a five thousand dollar, that's when BTC dropped to three thousand seven hundred dollars off your hand. Just go away, do other things, and forget about it. BTC now come down to as low as one thousand two hundred dollars. Don't bother. Just leave your BTC. BTC return back and get to ten thousand dollars. Then remember, you have this. You now come and say, okay, guy, can you still help me do the same thing? Or you can even set price ahead of time. 48200. That will give you $506 from $241 to $506. This may take some months, but it's worth it. By the time you check your percentage, you're in good money. And so that's exactly what we tell people to do. But additional opportunity we now had now is if you have sold on USDT and the price of Bitcoin and other coins are coming down, you now use this guy called ETH Bear and ETH Bull. Remember, you have sold your BTC, okay? You sold your BTC to uh, you sold your BTC to what to uh, USDT and ETH Bull Bear is to measure the frequency of drop in the price of Ethereum, Bitcoin, and all of that. So the more Ethereum dropped and Bitcoin drop in Ethereum follow suit, then we are going to have increase. 3% increase in what to buy here. So let's say now, this ETH bull here is this price. You are now buying with $241. You're buying 19, okay? Now you keep it there. The more BTC and Ethereum drops drastically, the increase, you can see, see where it is now, 12 point something, it rose to as high as $89. Crazy, right? It rose to as high as $89. So will it still rise? Yeah, if Bitcoin drop, it will rise. Okay, so then next thing, you now have 19.5. Let's say Bitcoin fall very seriously, and this guy, you bought at 12 point something, rise to as high as just $60. Now let's go, $60. And how many did you have? 19.5 to 998. That's the $241 would be $1,171. And at this point, the market now starts to recover. Then you take that to your money. Maybe BTC dropped to as low as Three uh, four thousand five hundred dollars. Now you're taking this money and say, "Hey, this time around, one thousand one hundred seventy-one. Now go to BTC, okay? Say, hey, Mr. BTC, I need to got, I need to get you here <clears throat> at four thousand, right? Uh, four thousand five hundred dollars. All right. It doesn't matter. Either it's still going to fall further. It's not your business." Then you say, how much I used $1,171. That's going to give you 0 0.26 BTC. When BTC return back to even just $10,000 again, $10,000. All this I'm saying is patient. You need patience to follow in this dimension. Now, 0 0.26, 0 to 2. That's about $2,600. You would tell anybody that you started this trade with as low as less than $241, nobody will believe you. So ladies and gentlemen, and that is navigation, monitoring, please take this video very seriously. 
and write every step down, okay? Now, I want to show you CoinsBeat for some of us in our community. Uh, CoinsBeat, uh, what I do on CoinsBeat is that I just maximize the opportunity on it. Uh, I don't think we need to do a lot of training here because uh, this training has taken so much time. Uh, what, I, what I need to show us this is, uh, let's see what this guy is doing. Why that is opening and uh, huh, I think I need to show you guys BitForest because uh, some people are still confused about BitForest and KuCoin. KuCoin. Okay, there we go. Let me just uh, show you BitForest because sometimes there are some coins we trade on BitForest. And so sometimes a lot of people find it difficult to navigate through the BitForest system. And so uh, because uh, just slightly too different, you know, uh, BitForest to uh, Binance, we just concluded. Okay, so uh, BitForest and uh, BitForest. Okay. Uh, no way. Three, two, zero. The buy is up. The timing, so you have to allow the fresher one to come up. It takes sixty seconds for it to expire. Six, four, two, nine, five, eight. Sometimes when you're logging in and it's complaining of your Google indicator, please synchronize um, your timing. Okay. Oh, so sorry, sorry. I just went straight to. Oh, fantastic. Well, this guy is crazy. <laughs> Good. Now, first of all, once you open a BitForest account, uh, you log into it. I haven't opened it. So as you log in, what exactly are you meant to do? The first thing you're meant to do is to fund your account. And for you to fund your account, you need to click on Asset. Now, I'm going to click on assets. You're going to see deposit, withdraw, transfer, the BF token, and then see deposit, withdraw, transfer. And sometimes you may not see the list of the coins this way, so you can just decide to click on deposit. So click on deposit. It's coming and it's coming up. So when you click on deposit, it's going to ask you which token are you depositing. So you have to set for it. Maybe BTC is not sure you have to type this way and then you see BTC. Okay. Now it shows the wallet. So you copy the wallet just exactly the way you did on Binance. So you can copy, copy the wallet successfully, send in the money. Now there's one thing you must do additionally on, on, on BitForest. Once the money is being credited to your account, then you're meant to come to your asset again. And the next thing you do, you have to click on transfer. Now, for the first time you're clicking on transfer, it's gonna bring up certain, you know, uh, disruptions, you know, that's gonna uh, show as if you cannot complete the transaction. Now, click on transfer, it's a waste of time. Good, so it shows transfer, which coin? The same way we actually ask you, so you know that it's BTC you're transferring. From where? From which wallet? So main wallet or spot account to wallet. Now, if you've not done it before, it's going to ask you, um, you have to agree with um, um, MT4, Perpetual Trading, just agree and then it's make them open for you. Then that's where you can see my own spot, Perpetual, MT5, 
so not so sending from your main wallet that's where you deposited your money to and to spot account how many maybe you have one bitcoin and we only want to move 0.5 out of it so half of it then you put on 0.5 if you have only little bitcoin you just credit and just click all then you click on confirm as so a click on confirm then it push the money no push it you can see that's push that money from your main wallet to spot the same way when you've made money you've made some profit i only tell my friends make use of this platform very well if i've made some profit you can take that profit and return it back that point just time around you come to do this spot account okay spots and then to where to wallet simple spot to wallet or oh, okay confirm transfer okay and simple now once you've done you've transferred the money from your asset to spot account then you are meant to go to spot what are you looking for in the spot what i'm looking for in the spot i want to trade so i haven't click on spot you need to know the coin we're trading like in our platform we've been trading um green uh, beam and well now at a point was beam and green that was raining very seriously but right now you can see that beam and green are dull you can the chart very down you won't say this coin was doing up to um 12,000 15,000 satoshi before more than more than more than look at it here So has done all, about 19,000 satoshi. So you can see the crazy down it is. But the next thing now, any smart trader will pick this coin right now at the bottom bottom. Okay, so you can see that has done 18,000 satoshi, almost 20,000 satoshi before. Now it's at 7,000 satoshi. You know, I traded it at 14, 16,000 satoshi. You can now see where it is today. So what do you do? Now, the same thing, look at Beam. Beam have done 9,000 Satoshi, you know, but look at where Beam is today. Okay, look at Beam. You can see, crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, Beam has done 10,000 Satoshi, has done 11,000 Satoshi, and look at where it is today. Now, but look at this guy. Well, well now is now doing something more better than them. You know, not that it's not down, but it's actually outperforming them right now. Let me use the, it's still down. It was this a pump, okay? But it's still down, but however, it's doing more activities than them. Let me go to hourly chart to see what the guy has been doing. It has been trending. Well has been trending, you can see? Da, 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 da. Now, so what am I supposed to do here? You can see I still have some fraction of well that I placed for sale at 1,003 or 1,001 Satoshi to be sold. Okay, I sold some uh, previously uh, at 1,000 Satoshi. So I want to buy back at 879. So I cancel it, you can see. And I sold this, sold this again. So let's go. And I want to sell, I want to buy, so let's say it is um, uh, BIM you want to buy. So you have to look at it. This is the market. See so BTC, see ETH, see USDT, and all of that. So but it is BTC you deposited. So you have to say, okay, I want to trade BIM. So you can see BIM, type the name, then BIM against BTC. So you click, and then there you go. Now you are now saying, I want to use the money I have in BTC to buy BIM. Okay, so I want to use the money I have in BTC to what? To buy BIM. BIM is actually going to break out. So when you shine a very big bullish sign to move up you know, any moment from now. And so, okay, I still have some BIM. And so you say, okay, I want to buy BIM. So there you go. How much is BIM right now? 4,003 Satoshi. Okay, how many BIM do you want to buy? 1,000 BIM, for instance. So 1,000 BIM, then you click or buy. That's all. Now, once it's been bought, then you place your price for sale. And you can see this CBM I have placed for sale for a long, long, long time.
and 8,600 8, Satoshi. No problem. Now look at uh, B. I bought it at 6,300 and something. So I sold some, 8,778 8, in that order. And so I bought BIM at 6,000 something. And it has come down the more. So what do I do? Nothing. I wait for it to come up. So I place the price to be sold. It doesn't matter. So if you want to buy BIM now, you can go ahead and buy BIM. So it's an expo for you. Now, and I say, okay, uh, outside BIM, I want to buy green. Okay? So uh, I want to buy green. So I go here and type green against BTC. And so look at green against BTC. So how much is green right now? 7,113 Satoshi. Okay. So look at green. It's showing uh, a sign of bullish too. Uh, somebody say, how do you know? I don't know. If you're a trader, you should know. So I have about 85, just fraction of green, still waiting. And so, but the price has been placed for sale. How much? Look at it. 18,000. 16,000 for a very long time. It's been placed, so it's normal business. I'm not going to stay with it there. All right. Now, can you say I want to buy uh, green and all of that? But, but I have well our place for sale. Now, another coin I trade here is the credit, which is very, very, very down against Ethereum. We trade it against GUI, Ethereum GUI. Uh, oh, I see, I have some Ethereum here. Okay. I traded against Ethereum GUI. And if you look at it, how I traded this coin, you know, look at my other history. So look at when I bought three GUI and I sold some seven, six GUI. That's GUI in that order. So you can always see the transactions, you know, what I've done here. And everything you do in the trading is all about patience, guys. If you're not patient, then you lose out as a truth. And nobody lose in crypto unless you have sold your asset. So the price drop, then you wait. I think I even have some link. Uh, do, do have some link here. Just for, uh, because anytime I'm doing training, I think I buy, you know, some of the coins uh, for practical uh, explanation. So if I'm not mistaken, we may see, uh, you can see here. Just there, it will nothing. You know, so that's how you, you know, help yourself, build yourself around, and um, understanding how this crypto world is so important. So, so the same strategy you use in trading on on uh, BitForest is what you use in trading on um, um, what you use in trading on KuCoin. Now, please take note: there are things you must do on BitForest and KuCoin. You have to set your trading password. Look at it now. Let me say I want to sell a link. Look at it. Let me place link at 67,000 Satoshi. 100%. So I say sell. Okay. It's not going to go through until I put my say, trading pin password. Da, 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 da. Then it's gone. All right. So you have to set it the same thing on this guy on um, Tommy. The same thing on um, just go to security setting. The same thing on KuCoin is the same pattern you have. You can see my my email and Google Authenticator is there. Down. Look at trading password. So you can set it hourly. Never put it every time. Okay. So okay. So you have to set it by yourself and then use it properly. Okay, and so that's what you do on BitForest. So simple, you know, KuCoin is similar. Everything in BitForest is what is applicable on KuCoin. The other thing is that all this um, KuCoin, um, uh, KuCoin, uh, the, what's it called? Uh, 71, blah, 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 this way. Yeah. Think so this uh, yeah. now the difference is this all this exchange have some other additional benefits they do like staking like KuCoin, while well, I love KuCoin, they are doing a lot of staking, lending, and all of that. So whereby you can just keep a particular coin, a type of coin on the platform, and you're getting paid fractions of percentage, which make a lot of sense. <laughs> 
It makes a lot of sense. It saves you from stress. You know, when it's not the time you have time to trade you know, regularly. And so you keep some coins, you're getting some, you know, leverage, you know. And so over time, if you make a lot of money, you can keep your coin like Ethereum, you know, other coins uh, you can network. Okay, actually use a different. Okay, uh, four, two, two, three, five, seven. Almost done, almost. Shit, okay, good. So this is cool coin and just opening and logging into them for you to see. And um, I don't want that complaint. Everybody, I, I observe a lot of people in our community, <coughs> excuse me, are not actually following in their personal trading. It doesn't really make sense, so guys, please. So the same thing you do, so you go to asset, right? You know, do the same thing, you know, and go to asset, go to overview and then let's just click on asset. Now you click on overview or not, and that shows you deposit, okay? So deposit, okay? So when you click on deposit, what are you depositing? BTC, of course. You know, you have to see set out the name, BTC. Good. There you go. So copy the address this way, pay in. Then after you paid in, you come back to your asset. You know, when you go to the overview or you go to what they call main account, okay? So you come back there and then what do you do? You still transfer from main account to trading account. So what are you transferring? So which token are you transferring? It's a BTC. So there you go, BTC. How many? You type the amount, 0 0.005, whatever. Confirm. The same way, you want to bring from trading account back to your main account because what is in trading account is more withdrawable. It's there until you move it from the trading account. So you have to click on this arrow to swap over. Then you see trading, main account, swap over. Main account, trading. Okay, so you can see. Fantastic, right? Then do the same. And then, so there you go. You want to trade, then you go to trade and you see spot. Trade, spot. So click on spot. Okay, so as I click on spot, it come up to the trading interface, okay, where you can now place order for the coins you want to buy, you want to sell, all of that. You know, those are very, very simple, simple steps that I expected everybody to settle down, especially if you're on view with me, Premium Group. If you are not and you're watching me live right now, then sit down, take note, you know, you can download the video thereafter, your system, so that you can have access to it over and over and over and over again, so that you can learn how to. Uh, so here, it's asking me for my trading. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, so I give you my trading pin. No, I'm not going to give it to you. <laughs> so you have to create it too on uh, KuCoin. So KuCoin requires to create a trading pin. Now it opens you to the interface. The difference in the way the pin of KuCoin and BitForest works is that the KuCoin asks you when moment you open to the trading interface. The, but the BitForest asks you when you want to execute trade. Okay, uh, I want to move up. Okay, so it's coming up and so that's where, uh, I'm almost wrapping up now. Uh, I don't know why this coin speech is messing up. I want to show you something. So be true, the same thing, you can go open be true. Uh, I sent you the link on the, the chat box and that so you can go open be true and uh, what I do on be true is just essentially, I don't have much time regularly trading on be true exchange. I buy coins, and then um, put them on the PowerPG, 
which is a, an investment, you know, of annualized tokenizations of assets. So while I'm busy doing my trade and my network marketing and other things, then that is uh, passively dropping some uh, profit for me on my asset. And so it's on that note I tell people, it's good you take advantage of every bit of opportunity in the space of crypto. Not investing in Ponzi scheme, please, uh, because I've, Ponzi scheme I've dealt with a lot of us. Uh, it's funny to think of many, many people want to achieve the fast result as fast as possible. So I'm looking back. It, it's not worth it, guys. So be careful not to fall victim of some of those funny schemes. And uh, it doesn't really make sense. Okay, hold on again. No, three, one, zero, six, two. So be true, so login. Now, you can see my asset has dropped by 185% because of overall time of the price dropping. Well, it's now gaining momentum back. It doesn't matter, but the market is giving me fractions of the coin I stick on the bar PG. Like look at Ethereum, for instance. You know, one Ethereum, I think I bought it $123 last year, December, $123 last year, December. And there we go. I put it here, okay? So, and it has been adding little, little fractions. Uh, okay. Leave. Excuse me. So you can see 0 0.002, that's 21,000 V. That's now 0 0.018, uh, so assuming you put about 10 or 100 Ethereum, you should know how much that will have a month for, for you in this period of time. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I think of if I've tried the uh, best and the uh, justice to the late you, we've done, and um, that can help a lot of people to take advantage of opportunity in this space. Okay. And you um, can visit our website, www.planbexpress.com. Then, other thing I will want to let you know is that. We have a lot of programs running now, and personal trading is just the basic and the more you know fundamental the, of what's on the priority list for our business. So you have to settle down and take advantage of it. And for anyone who is not on bill with me, Prime and Blue, uh, whoever sent you this video, you can call him and ask him how do you get to start with this opportunity, how to get started with. Uh, business, you know, personal trading, and um, other things you need to do. You need to ask the fellow. And uh, if you want to get started with Build With Me, then just a uh, yearly uh, uh, subscriptions, just 55,000 there in Nigeria currency, for around $50 what in Bitcoin you know, sending. And then if you want to part, you know, uh, take advantage of Ticket Iwari coins, uh, we're actually running a promo now, and so you can pay uh, Four hundred dollars, and to have access to the names of those coins, and then trade it by yourself or buy and hold it, depending on what you want. And then we we'll still give you directions on how to follow up you know, the whole thing, so you have some detailed reports you know, about the coins. All that. So then, other investment platforms, so you can I encourage people to take advantage of it. 
It's not a financial advice, just your choice. You want to do it, do it. If you don't want to do it, just forget about it. So don't let's see, Felix told me to do it. It was, it was the one that pushed me to do it. Uh, and I owe you no apology if you made a mistake in your decision. So it's my responsibility uh, of you know, effort to make sure that we bring so many reports up. And so but it's your action to that, take it or reject it. And then I, I put no triggers in your head to invest in any platform you want to invest into. But the point is that we'll try and make sure that everything we do, we do based on integrity. But we tell people to do your own research, GIO. So DAO is major for anyone who is investing in crypto. But patience, discipline, dedication, and foolishness are very vital ingredients to make it well in the space of crypto. Thank you very much, everybody. So please, everyone in the build with me, Premier, write all these steps down very soon.